Hi guys, in this video I will be showing how to apply Western Digital Slow Fix to the external USB free hard drive. This one in particular. Okay, the part number. So, uh, originally I was trying to get the data out of this drive and it was showing me that it would take me 560 days to get it. And after applying this fix, I was able to get it out in about 12 to 15 hours. And this is pretty common issue with uh, Western Digital hard drives, apparently. But uh, this tutorial this little video I made is gonna show you how to do it without doing any modification to the drive and without uh, expensive equipment thanks to the guys from uh, HD Super Clone formerly HD Super Tool and uh, users on superuser.com forum I was able to stumble across this as I, I was searching on how to get around this problem so uh, let's go ahead and jump to it straight jump jump straight to this video okay so uh the first thing also to mention i'm i'm running uh parted magic i love it highly recommend it if you're running something else uh it might this tutorial might not work exactly step by step so you need to adjust a little but this is the live uh installation it's not installation but just a live uh, uh, bootable uh, uh, parrot magic image I'm working with and let's go ahead and start so first first things first you need to download uh, the file HDD super tool okay Uh, old and outdated works perfectly fine for us. So this is the file I I downloaded it already on my other hard drive. Let's connect it here. So let me see what is it. Okay, I already have it here. Delete this. So I downloaded this file. Okay. We're gonna extract it here. We're gonna rename it so it's easier for us. We don't have to type everything. We're gonna rename it to just HDD Super Tool. Okay, move it to home folder so it's easier to work with. Okay, right here. Now we open up terminal. Okay, and now we follow the prompts on the forum I found. All credits go to Spilled and Scott Dewar, the author of HD Super Tool. Thank you, thank you a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Without this, I'm not sure you know we put. I would I wouldn't run this computer for a year to get the data out, but this is awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, start the process actually go to help here and this is how you do it on the live CD scroll all the way down to not that chapter 7 not that far USB drives, we're almost there, installing, this is not our, this is the line 292, viewed from a live CD, so this is our case, Parted Magic, it's live CD, live USB anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, type this stuff, okay, it's right there on the website, HD Super Clone, this readme file, okay.
beautiful. So uh, just to let you know, I got the data out of this drive. It's all safe. So this drive is no good. It has bad sectors, so I can mess with it for the demonstration purposes. So I'm going to be just repeating the steps I did. And also just to let you know that uh, these steps I'm going to do is going to take a lot, you know, it's going to be a lot faster than originally on the, on the drive which that was slow. On that drive, it, these steps were taking a lot longer to con to 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 proceed basically so just uh, just to keep that in mind so let's go ahead and we are choosing here drive number two because this is our western digital this is our drive western digital so we're choosing three okay now according to instructions we are going into the vsc entry so seven it's pretty simple if you know you know if you have a tutorial and uh, if you know you know exactly what this tutorial is for and uh, you're not just creating a bicycle again this is pretty simple because it's been written there I'm just want to show you you know because I'm I'm not I'm not in any in any way a professional at this but uh, I was able to find this solution and apply it and this worked for me and I really appreciate these guys and if somebody will be in this situation and is like stumbling in the dark you know, I hope this video will be helpful to you guys. And that's that's the way, you know, that's the reason I'm making it. So let's go ahead and choose seven. Now we are choosing, okay. Slow fix, number four. That's what we need to apply. We need to apply four and five, but first four, four, okay. Read. And create a patch one okay now we need to write that patch patched file number two okay beautiful as i said it's going to take a lot longer if you have the the drive let me see let me move this stuff a little bit so okay so now we are going back on the previous menu Okay, and applying number five, patch mod 32, okay, five, same thing, read, read and, and patch and write. Beautiful, and we are done. As I said, it's gonna take a little bit longer. The last step might fail completely, but it should still be fine. And um, I will attach to this video uh, two videos on before and after of DD Rescue. Originally, it would take me 560 days to get the data. After this, this, this patch and fix, I was able to get the data in about 12 to 15 hours. After this, basically, uh, it is stated in the, in the instructions that you have to uh, power cycle a drive but uh, I actually rebooted the whole thing because uh, after I power cycled it, it was still something iffy. So I rebooted the whole thing. And after I relaunched the rescue, it was perfect, beautiful. So, and this mode was, this mode is does, what me, uh, according to the tutorial is actually, it clears the smart status and the file re relocation list. And, uh, that's it basically i hope i really hope that this will be helpful to some of you guys there without super expensive equipment that just need to get the data for customer for reasonable price and thank you very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe thank you bye bye